like to demonstrate how to install the Manta vertical grip sleeves onto uh, any vertical grip that you may have. We manufacture two different diameter sleeves. We have one inch diameter for your smaller vertical grips as well as an inch and a quarter for your larger ones such as the grip pod or any of the larger uh, vertical grips that are out there in the marketplace. What you want to do is take your vertical grip, in this case um, I've removed the locking mechanism at the bottom of it, and you're going to take your provided uh, Manta gel that we supply with the vertical grip package. Um, you can use hand sanitizer or soap and water, uh, whatever you have accessible to you, but in the main package you will receive a uh, packet of the, the gel sanitizer. You just open it up and then supply a, a liberal amount internally inside your, your vertical grip sleeve. And then you just want to take your vertical grip and fit it right inside there. And slide it right up and on. And into place. It does fit snugly so that we have a good interference fit. Once it's in place, uh, you've got a, a limited amount of time where you can take and rotate the sleeve into position. In this case, obviously, I've got it at the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, depending on how you're going to mount your vertical grip. But you can also place it at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, any position that you want it on your vertical grip, depending on you know operator preference. Um, what will happen is the uh, supply gel will evaporate and it will lock the sleeve on in place. And now that you've got your sleeve in place, you simply take, uh, in this case, I've got a light. could be a laser or any type of accessory that works off of a pressure pad. Um, slide your pressure pad right inside the micro pocket on the sleeve. Go ahead and get it into place. And now you've got your pressure pad and you can push you know, for engagement and activation. Uh, this eliminates the need for bicycle inner tube, 100 mile an hour tape, cable ties. I've seen the guys use uh, a lot of different things to uh, hold the pressure pad in place. Also if you note, we do have these ridges that are, are on the sleeve. What happens is these actually act as a, uh, an arcing uh, mechanism which helps to prevent accidental engagement. It won't eliminate the accidental engagement altogether, but it does help to shield that pressure pad from accidental engagement or if it bumps into anything. Um, we also manufacture the larger vertical grip sleeve again for the grip pod in this particular case. Uh, on the grip pod installation, it's a little different than other vertical grips. You take the, uh, the grip pod and you want to open up your grip. Grip pods are manufactured in a couple different pieces. You simply unscrew the bottom of the grip pod move your legs over, take your spring out, and then you just repeat the method that I used on the smaller vertical grip. You just uh, supply a liberal amount of the supplied gel and then you slide it up onto your grip pod and then you just simply reassemble your grip pod and then you'd be good to go for that. One of the other things that I like to use the larger vertical grip sleeve for is the installation on the pistol grip of an AR or a rifle that has any type of pistol grip on it. And I like to position the micro pocket backwards. What happens is uh, during recoil, this micro pocket actually acts as a little bit of a shock absorber to eliminate some of that recoil that's transferred in and through your hand. So there's many different uh, versatile ways to utilize our vertical grips. Uh, you can also trim them to length depending on the length of your vertical grip and or uh, some uh, operators have trimmed them and put them on scope rings or uh, the ends of flashlights, things of that nature to, uh, to help further protect equipment or conceal the weapon platform.